Hello there people, what's going on? Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. How are you all doing? Uh, hope you are in good health and you are doing okay, both physically and mentally and emotionally. Everything is good with you, all right? So I, as you can see, last few days, I'm not doing any fr new fragrance reviews. I perhaps will do a few new upcoming fragrances, perhaps, but I don't have that many in my hand currently. So I was thinking, what should I do? I was going to do Dior Sauvage EDD vs EDP, which I decided I'll do tomorrow. That's how I do stuff, okay? So I want to do a list, top 10, but then it became top 15 and became top 20. Uh, what you gonna do? Uh, it's gonna be a long video, but I decided to do uh, some fragrances that will relax me. I'm going through some ups and downs. So at times, you know, fragrances really help you. You know, they really, really do. You just open a bottle somewhat and just sniff it and just takes you to a relaxing uh, zen place, you know, where you can uh, not don't have to think about a lot of these worries and stuff outside the world. Uh, so they make you feel soothing, soothing, relaxing, the same thing. I think I saw a few reviewers doing it before. I don't think I did it before. So here you go. So I have about 20 fragrances plus two, uh, two honorable mentions. Uh, these two are discontinued, hard to find and very expensive. Okay, so I'll start with first one, uh, House of Kenzo. Kenzo do, does exec, excellent fragrances. And every single phrase you're going to see here today, certain note perhaps are responsible for that uh, soothing and, you know, like relaxing vibes, you know, every single fragrance has something in it. So first phrase I'm going to show you is Kenzo Power Cologne. I bought this, I got lucky. These are very hard to find, by the way, very hard to find. In Bangladesh, you'll find it here and there. And I'm lucky to have a big bottle. This one has something in it. It just takes you to a Zen place. It's so relaxing. I get this sort of like a tea and mate that sort of a vibe from it and I forgot total notes breakdown but it's so nice it got this nice little citrus something relaxing something different it's totally unique perfume got this kind of powdery florals at you know at the base but not super powdery definitely try it out it's a summer bliss it's Kenzo Power Cologne I'll write down the names and the second one uh, this fragrance is uh, so expensive now even if you find it you have to pay 150 200 dollars which is not worth it but if you find it somewhere at a good deal get it this is the color uplifting color of orange ultra zest by theory mugle discontinued long time ago and got this nice orange creamsicle you guys know this if you're in fragrance game or something you know this uh, this fragrance really that orange zesty vibe just puts me back you know like i have a backup bottle thankfully so when this one runs out i can go for that one but this fragrance really relaxes me in a hot like warm day something like orange popsicle vanilla kind of like a chocolate uh, very uplifting bright fragrance okay got decent lasting power as well uh, this is ultra zest so these are the two honorable mentions so i will tell you a little bit story uh, of uh, these fragrances why they are here okay just little story i have reviewed them all checked out my full reviews okay number 20 i want to start with is a fragrance a lot of this inoffensive uh, white blanche style fragrance will be in this list okay you can understand uh, number 20 is hugo boss reversed okay this perfume is nothing mind-blowing okay uh it's not a niche quality perfume quite it's sort of my weekend fragrance you know i just reach for it when you just want to put like four or five sprays of something like citrus it smells like pineapple lemon and has this kind of this inoffensive vibe you know this is nothing extraordinary but at the same time it's a casual friday set okay for us friday's weekend so this is the fragrance I reach for. I think my dear brother Rahul Bhai loves this a lot. And my dear brother Dr. Jeffrey also loves this a lot. So this fragrance you should definitely try. It has decent lasting power, not very beast mode, but really good, relaxing, citrusy, uh, lemony, uh, pineapple. It gives that vibe of Aventus at times, but this is not an Aventus clone. Very, very uplifting fragrance, okay? Hugo Boss, reversed. Try this fragrance out. Number 19, I'm bringing it back after a long, long time. This is Ferrari Bright Neroli. If you're not a fan of Neroli, like my good friend Thomas, uh, you're not going to like it. But some people, they feel it's unisex. That's fine also for me. I don't mind. This is definitely a unisex style perfume and can be had for very good pricing. This Neroli really, really, like, I find it very soothing. It has this very beautiful, uplifting, very rich sort of like Tom Ford's Neroli perfume. And this, I regard them in the same way. Really good. So if you are looking for a budget fragrance that is good, Ferrari is bright nearly, get it before it becomes super rare, okay? This used to go for $75 once, okay? But uh, bright nearly definitely is in my list number 19. Number 18, inspired by Crete's Aventus. This is Mercedes-Benz Select. I love this bottle a lot. Just very simple, but very elegant and heavy, 
heavily peeled bottle. So this one does have Mercedes-Benz logo. And I like the sprayer. This smells basically like Aventus, but a lot more lemony. It's no pineapple, but lemon. Lemon, woody, watery, aquatic. In that we're not really aquatic, but watery, citrus, zesty. So this one is really uplifting for me because this one, when I put it on, it's not super overwhelming. Like Aventus, Sidinim, this can be really overwhelming, really strong. This one, it's very light wear. And I really like that about this fragrance. Three to four hours, great, relaxing fragrance. You just want to even go to sleep, you can put it on your pillow and sleep. All right, Mercedes-Benz Select, fantastic fragrance. This is as good as Mont Blanc Explorer at a cheaper rate. That's number 18. Number 17. Sike All. This is my favorite perfume from this house. Sike Reveal, this one. Uh, Euphoria Liquid Gold, or what is that called? Uh, not Amber Gold. And they have some great fragrance in Sike House. I was going to pick Sike one summer, but I love this one more than the summer line. Why? It's an upgrade to Sike One, okay? And this one is really unisex, fresh, clean vibe, and it has that better performance. It's got this rhubarb thing going on. I really like that. I definitely think this is under, under uh, not underwhelming, it's like underrated fragrance. If you're just looking for a fragrance to wear and nothing is going to bother you, you are, you know, just want to relax and work for some time, this is a fragrance you can take for holidays also. Sick all, check out my review. Then number 16, I think, then yeah, number 16 is, once again, Neroli Rules. <laughs> Mugler Cologne, soapy, fresh, clean, uplifting. Uh, if you want a niche version, go Original Vetiver by Creed. Fantastic. That fragrance is just phenomenal. You know, like, where is my... This one, I still have some juice left on my vintage bottle. Uh, both of these are good, but I'm just showing you this one because this is more affordable. I cannot relax when I'm thinking like I'm spraying like dollars, 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 you know. <laughs> that makes you a little bit nervous, you know. But Mugler Cologne, get a 300 ml. You can spray all day. Not going to feel a thing. I can assure you that much. And this is a very long-lasting soapy scent. Mugler Cologne is a classic. People who do not like to wear clothes, they like this, okay? So Mugler Cologne is in my list number 16. So from this point onwards, the first five I picked up were kind of like on the simpler side. They're like, okay, you know, the first, you can consider them as like basic tier. Then you go a little bit up, you know, like a little bit more premium in terms of smell. <clears throat> number 15, Gucci Guilty Cologne. This is a fragrance that is different in this list. This fragrance is not gonna be a typical citrus or playful, sweet, fruity, what you get from this is kind of like a menthol toothpaste sort of opening and then it goes a little bit of herbaceous uh, green it stays green and the fragrance is very long lasting it has the same color of my t-shirt but this fragrance if you once you get it it's the same feel as the kenzo if you can find the kenzo you can definitely buy the gucci uh, guilty cologne you can also get the gucci by gucci sport it does the same thing but this is performance beast for a freshie Definitely check out my review. This is something unique in the whole list. Gucci Guilty Cologne, number 15. Number 14, Terry Hermes Outre Fresh, the white cap. This one basically is a zestiness like cardamom. I definitely get cardamom. I get this kind of like a sweet, spicy cardamom with this lot of citrus, lemon. I also got that orangey vibe, but this is so good, guys. You know, like, uh, yeah, I'm not wearing anything. Yeah. Just remind myself a little bit. This is basically a rainy day scent. You know, when it rains, imagine like rain is going over the lemon tree or orange tree with a lot of zestiness. It's like very nice, a spicy, zesty burst of energy. Definitely in the rainy day, if you're down, go with this one. You can also go Uncle Moore Sport, but this is a much better quality fragrance and a little bit pricey, but worth the money. Old Refresh by Dear Dear Mess Line. That's number 40. Number 13. The classic Versace Purum. Uh, just yesterday, I saw one brother was selling 2014 version of uh, Versace Purum and supposedly the older formulation, but I think I'm not quite sure when it got reformulated. As far as I understand, vintage it was somewhere like 2004 5 it was released, right? And then, if something in the line of 2010, I think those are the darker juice, those are the vintage, but it's okay. This is not a performance beast. Uh, similar to this is Chanel Alirom Sport. I'm just, I'm gonna tell you frankly, if you want more premium, creamy, longer lasting go with this one uh, but this one it's really expensive so you cannot relax again <laughs> you can get a 200 ml of this for half the price of the chanel so i think this is a very nice nearly once again florals aquatics ozonic uh, in this category you will find aqua di uh, you will find polo blue such a nice uplifting fragrance nice atomizer this is a classic this is a men's classic moment i smell it is just you know i'm like yeah 
come to me. <laughs> so yeah, Versace Purim is definitely a relaxing one. Masculinity at its best. Okay, the next one, I think it's number 16. It's gonna be my dear brother, Dr. Jeffrey. He was mentioning it. He was trying to guess which I'm gonna put in top five, but didn't make the quite top 10. But this fragrance, I was gonna put it anyway. Uh, Bulgari Purim Extreme. There are three in this line, Bulgari Purim, Suar, and this one, Extreme. This is the strongest of them all. Why this is here? If you love Gucci Purim too, something like a tea note. The tea note, when you think of like sitting in a tea garden and uh, you're sipping some nice tea, like kind of strong or lemon tea or something flavored, fruity tea. And all you hear, there's no noise of this town. It's just no car, no bus, there's no smoke. All you hear is that birds singing and you can see sometimes mild drizzle. It's like raining. And you're just sitting there reading a book. Don't don't smoke, you know. Perhaps enjoy the cup of tea and then enjoy the sound of the peaceful and quiet of the nature. This is what I feel about this. It's got spices a little bit. It has this kind of like a vetiverish dry down, but it is very much like a love it or hate it fragrance. Not everybody's gonna like it, but I really feel this is my list, so I put it here. Bulgari Purim Extreme Discontinued Gem. Uh, check it out if you want a relaxing fragrance. This is a very high quality fragrance of Bulgari. They have their signature tea note in here. That's number. Uh, 16. Number 15. Didn't quite make the top 10, but still a great fragrance at a great budget. This is John Verbito's Artisan Pure. Anything you buy from this house from the Aqua or Verbito's uh, Artisan line, great. But you want a little bit more performance out of it, right? So this is the best performer, I, I feel. So this is still considered as one of the best summer freshie. Doesn't matter what price uh, bracket there is, but when I smell it, there's something about it. It's just like I cannot describe it. It's not really a typical uh, and the lemon scent, whatever. This has some character to it. If you want something a little bit different uh, for summer, I suggest you get a backup bottle as well because you're going to really get addicted to the smell. So number 15, John Robertos are this one, pure. So now we're entering top 10. This is my list. So this is definitely my choices. Uh, number 10, I'm going to start with the fragrance from House of YSL. And when you think of YSL, first fragrance comes to your mind is loam right and the loam due to the <clears throat> severe reformulation uh, it really 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 is weak in performance after two hours you barely smell anything so you can say like why don't you put tommy by tommy good choice but doesn't really relax me uh, why don't you put hugo boss bottle good fragrance but too much sweetness so if you really want like an upgrade to loam this is a solution why sell loam le parfum okay this one has that blue juice that's the first thing I really like. It's very dark blue. Reminds me of All Electric by Lanvey de Long. But this has better performance than Long and it's a little bit upgraded. I have it on my hand and I really feel like, like this one has the sweetness. It definitely got that, uh, that apple sort of like a little bit more aquatic, uh, fresh blue watery kind of feel to this perfume, but it gives more body to it. So it's a bigger fragrance than Long. Definitely. Uh, it's a better choice than Lom at this present point at the same price almost, okay? So I saw Lom Le Parfum number 10. Number 9 is a personal favorite, okay? This fragrance, you don't have to agree with me. You can say this is just a very uh, simple, casual fragrance. You can get much better, much more upgraded. You can get the EDP. I know, but the feel that this fragrance gives me, nothing else does. I have a lot of memories attached to it. See my review, then you know. This is the Dolce & Gabbana, light blue, EDT for women. You'll be saying, why would I wear a fragrance for women? Fair enough, no problem. You can upgrade to Versace Manu Fresh, Mont Blanc Star Walker. You can get anything from that line. But this perfume, something special, is that opening got this bamboo citrus combo. And the whole feel of that bamboo citrus, you think of like sea beach, you know, like uh, by the ocean, somewhere in the resort, and you just by yourself, you know, it just, sun is up there, very bright, mm, like sky and blue, blue skies, you know no sign of rain but you're having a cocktail but you want to smell like light and airy you know and just want to relax sit by the beach feel the breeze this is a breezy perfume my mom used this back in the days like she this is my favorite perfume so part of this has sentimental reasons to me i used to smell this all the time when she used to go out so this is a fragrance i would say guys check it out why would uh, you miss out on perfume just because it's marketed for women right Dolce & Gamma Light Blue, excellent, excellent fragrance. Definitely, it beats the last 10, right? Okay, amazing perfume. This one, the I have the EDP, as you can see. Here I have the EDP for women, but I prefer this over that one. Performance is not everything, the smell, okay?
this is unbeatable beautiful perfume don't you come on like blue women number eight these are all easy picks Prada Long why it's a relaxing perfume you cannot say any better than that or any less than that this fragrance is written all over it's a relaxing perfume nothing challenging it's like a watery iris fresh inoffensive everyday wear just like so easy it's non-complicated Prada Long you guys know I don't have to describe Prada Long is number seven sorry number eight number seven Mancera Sicily uh, this fragrance I picked for a reason. I was going to pick Cedrat Boise, which is really relaxing, very nice uh, pineapple. But that one gives you on the dry down a little bit of leather and then woodsy dry down. And uh, that leather sometimes becomes a bit too strong for my liking. That's the reason I did not pick Aventus in this pickup. I mean the lineup. Why I pick Sicily? Huge burst of citruses and some florals. Yeah, you may not like the florals that much, but if you can get used to that, just one spray, see how long this one lasts. You know, Mansur has a lot of beastly perfume. This is also beastly, but it relaxes me. The citrus in this is just grapefruit. You know, it's like authentic grapefruit. Man, this DNA is just unbeatable. Those who have tried it, they know. This is a juicy grapefruit, very authentic. Mansur, Sicily, very relaxing fragrance, just one spray. Okay, then number six, then we hit top five. Number six. Pacific Rock Moss. Uh, some of you will be very happy to see this in the list because this one is crowd favorite. Uh, if you love Dolce & Gamma Light Blue, just let me tell you, it's not exactly the same. If you love this style fragrances and you like that unisex vibe, you can upgrade it to this one. Okay, This one has a lot of similarity to this fashion, but uh, this one has this kind of very nice coral reef, you know, Australian Bay, uh, those oceans. Such a nice friend. This opening is way better than Versace Purom uh, or the light blue. It's just like magic. You know, it's like truly magic. Tropical paradise. You know, you have to try this perfume. Do not worry about performance and everything. This one loves the heat. If you wear this in high heat, it just project, projects a lot and then stays a lot. Okay. Pacific Rock Moss by, uh, this is called what? Uh, Goldfield and Banks, this house. Okay. Uh, it's a bit expensive, but definitely relaxes me. Try it out. So now time for top five and you'll see a pattern almost all of them are themed like white you know like something blanche and there's a reason for it these are inoffensive again fresh so number five we'll start with Bayard of Old Africa yeah a little bit sad did not make number one I picked I preferred the next four to be superior to this because of the smell performance wise this is better than the last four okay or the first four but Bald Africa the fruity basket sweetness non-complicated again Man, I love this fragrance. It's just, I cannot tell you. It's like just my choice. I love this perfume 10 out of 10. Just try it out. You will not be disappointed. Its price tag is worth it. Best from this house so far uh, that I tried. Bald Africa by Bayredo. Number four, something happened. You know, I said in my comparison, I love this over the next one. But today, I saw yesterday someone commented that they preferred this next one better than this. And uh, they feel like that is much more up close than this one. Then I was like, let's respect that and see what people say and then you know go with the flow right so number four Givenchy gentlemen cologne highly regarded by me you guys know i love this so much this is modern masterpiece of summer uh, this fragrance you can blind buy it blind buy it you'll definitely love this perfume just got this nice sort of this uh, peppery kick i think it has some sort of pepper very fresh uplifting citruses and that got this iris playing masterpiece of a perfume okay but this one is more uh, affordable and more uh, available in market compared to the next one next one you really have to pay the buck to get it okay but Givenchy gentlemen cologne is number four now comes the fragrance that beat the Givenchy today and uh, i'm gonna show you i'm so lucky thanks to god uh, this is so expensive now you know you don't have to pay that price but look for it if you find a good deal this is Gyalan low medial cologne this is the Unicorn, everybody is searching in Bangladesh. It's the most high fragrance at this moment. Everybody wants a piece of that. I had a 50 ml, then I bought this 100 ml backup. Uh, the reason being, it's not a beast mode fragrance. Okay, let me just tell you, uh, this one lasts about three to four hours on me. At best, four hours. Three hours is good, three hours. And the fragrance is just so special. It's the smell, nutty, almond, that fresh, clean uh, citrus, and then the musky vibe. It's just so light. You know, it's just a lighter version of the ideal. Whole line is sexy. The uh, cool is nice, longer lasting than this, but it's big, loud because of that mint. This one, the citrus is 
<laughs> mm. <laughs> when I smell it, people go like, mm, 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 you know. So yeah, even though it's a bit hard to find, I'm still putting it. Despite it being discontinued, you still can find it. That's the point. Ultra is very impossible to find. Lomigel color number three. So yeah, big players are gone. What are the top two? Rahul Bhai is going to be very happy, my dear friend. Next one is going to be Ulong Chabai Nishane. If you love T-based perfume just like that Bulgari, they're both masterpieces, okay? No doubt. But what this is special for is the citruses up top got some, I feel there's some lychee. There's something fruity up top. It's like definitely fruity, citrusy, lemony, and uh, kind of sweet. And the, the tea note is very green tea. So it's a very green, fresh, uh, uplifting, something you want to eat. You know, if there was like a dessert, you would definitely eat this one, trust me. So another thing good about this, this fragrance is pretty long lasting, lasts the whole day. If you have it on your shirt, I would say if you really have to buy a backup bottle, this is a fragrance you should buy two 200 ml backup bottles. There I say it, 400 ml, you should have a backup. There's no 200 ml, but you should buy 400 ml of it. Rahul Bhai, work on it, okay? <laughs> so number two, Oolong Cha. So yeah, <laughs> number one. What is number one most relaxing, soothing fragrance for today? Uh, I thought a lot. That fragrance right there is a champ for a reason. And I'm telling you, uh, if it could beat the other 19 or 21, uh, the reason has to be, it has to be very special. I never was a fan of lavender, but lavender is such a note. If you are in stress, you know, sometimes you have those air purifier, you know, at home or diffuser, whatever you call it, humidifier or something. You have certain uh, lavender. And if it's a nice lavender, when the smoke or the, 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 the smell comes to you, it relaxes you. Okay. That's the reason you can already guess what is lavender with perfume I love. This is from House of Tom Ford. This is this fragrance here, Boudi Jour. Um, I am so in love with this perfume. I made it number one, I think, in Tom Ford. Was it number one or Tom Ford Noir Femme? I think this one. Uh, I did not like this fragrance at first. See, the funny thing about fragrances, I never really liked it at first because I don't like uh, like Fougier Barbershop. This is a modern barbershop. Sort of like a dressed up perfume, you know? And it has this two or three types of lavender, but it has the citruses up top, makes it very modern. If you cannot find this, if you find it too expensive, get Zeno Davidoff, bit harsh dry down they're very similar but this is a different quality different level perfume okay tom ford made it under now designer game you know like designer lineup you can still have it for like 130 dollars around that price but it's worth the money keep wearing it you'll see the value of it it's just supremely beautiful perfume okay well crafted like it's posh it smells so expensive luxurious and it's just relaxing for me okay this is a perfume you take it for an international trip and you have awesome memories and people will compliment you too very long lasting Boudi Jour by Tom Ford is my number one so thank you very much for watching guys I uh, really apologize for long videos but hopefully if you don't like videos just see the list from description and uh, see my full review thank you very much hopefully you stay relaxed and everything goes okay with you and you don't have to face so much stress okay take care I all I pray for all of you good night from Dhaka Bangladesh bye bye